This video is going to review the difference between kinetic and potential energy. You've no doubt experienced the changes between kinetic and potential energy. Uh, this transfer is easily seen in a swing. And we're going to show you uh, just like we did with the pendulums in class. So the weight, or the bob, that's tied off on the string moves back and forth in a pendulum. We can imagine that the points where the bob is furthest from the base on either side will be points where it is moving the slowest. Likewise, when the bob is directly beneath where the string is tied off, we can expect it to be moving the fastest. Since the bob would be moving the slowest at either end, this is where we would have high potential energy. It's also the furthest from the base of the swing. When it's directly beneath where it's tied off, it would have low potential energy. Now in those areas where there's high potential energy, there's going to be low kinetic energy. Because that's where the bob would be moving the slowest. And that point where the bob is moving the fastest would have the highest kinetic energy. Because in these energy transformation, the fact that kinetic energy is equal to potential energy during the course of the bob, uh, the bob swing, um, there is no change in the total amount of energy being used in the system. However, we do know that eventually the bob will stop moving back and forth due to friction. To be more specific, the type of friction that we're talking about is air resistance and friction that could be right where the bob is attached to the particular anchor, in this case on the ring stand. This concludes this video on reviewing kinetic and potential energy.